the wonder that is Veganuary. Did you attempt it this year? Did you fail? Do you want to feel less terrible about failing? Then keep on watching. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Emma's Deep Dives, where it is my aim to educate, inform and inspire you about animal welfare science and ethics and how it impacts the decisions that we make every day. Veganuary. It's been a thing that's grown in popularity since it began in 2014 and is marketed as a way of trying veganism for a full month starting on January 1st. It has a website to help guide people through it. And obviously there's the whole internet's worth of information on vegan nutrition, cooking, etc. And of course, vegan food is highly accessible in many places for a lot of people now. So why do people fail or give up at the end of the month? I talk a lot about ethics on this channel. And one of the things I notice, particularly when it comes to veganism, is that non-vegans almost always use the term vegan and plant-based interchangeably. No. I did so deliberately in my recent video on vegans versus meat eaters while you'll never win the debate, because in talking with my audience, I know that they use the terms together. For now, you should totally check that video out after. But, and I want to do this moving forward because I think it's really important. Being plant-based isn't the same as being vegan. And I know a few people would be like, oh, 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 it doesn't make a difference, don't be so pedantic. But there is a difference, and I think it's in this difference why people fail at making this switch during and after the end of Veganuary, or frankly, at any point in time that they decide to try and switch. We need to keep in mind that veganism at its heart is an ethical principle where people actively reject animal-based things from their life, not just their diets, for the purpose of eliminating animal suffering and exploitation because they believe that animals have rights. That's it. There's a big crossover with the secondary benefits of veganism, and these are the main motivations behind why people also go plant-based, which are the, it's considered better for your health, or it's considered better for the environment. Plant-based thinking conveniently forgets that veganism is about animal rights first. Plant-based people still care about animals, but they're more likely to align with animal welfare ethics, which ultimately accepts animal use for human benefit, even if at the time they think they're going vegan. If you started Veganuary because you wanted to try a plant-based diet, you're not going vegan for the animals, and you probably found that you failed if you went full ham and dived in at the deep end without considering the monumental shift required in ethics to go from eating animal products to completely rejecting them. It's this ethical shift that keeps vegans going and adhering to a vegan lifestyle. When they struggle with their diets, nutrition, maybe buy products that've got a high carbon footprint, remember, they're not thinking about their health or possibly the wider planet necessarily. They're thinking about not supporting animal suffering. And that is hard. And it's a journey, especially if they've lived most of their lives enjoying things like animal bacon and cheese. And they're lying if they tell you that at the time it didn't taste good. But now they don't have the same association with pleasure that non-vegans get. The smell or the taste of these things now reminds them of pain and suffering instead of something pleasurable or enjoyable. Now, I'm not here to guilt or shame you at all, because ultimately, Trying anything plant-based or vegan or whatever your motives are is absolutely fine and more than commendable as these lifestyles can help the planet and if you eat more whole foods and vegetables, it's better for your health. So what I do want to say here is, treat yourself with more compassion. If you wanted to try Veganuary and you failed because you didn't plan properly, didn't eat enough, missed the same satisfaction from plant-based alternatives or you just didn't enjoy it because you found it was harder than you expected. Uh, maybe you caved into peer pressure or you didn't know how to talk about it with your family if you were considering switching for longer. Do not beat yourself up and assume it's not for you. Unless you're prepared to undergo that difficult mindset shift to animal rights ethics, where you essentially have to relearn your relationship with animals, don't expect your journey with veganism to be A, easy, or B, very long. Because without that shift, it's 
difficult to make the emotional connection that turns vegans off of animal products. Think of it like learning a language. It's harder when you're an adult. It takes time, practice, cultural immersion, and other people to communicate with. It's a bit of a shame that people's expectations of veganuary aren't managed particularly well, and I think it can really turn people off more if they do end up failing. I think it puts way too much pressure on people to make too drastic a change overnight when we're already under pressure to be perfect starting January 1st with literally everything else. It's also not ideal to start the new year eating a plant-based diet when most plants aren't really in season at the moment. Therefore, I think it should be basically the complete opposite and I would encourage anyone to really sort of take their time moving into both plant-based and vegan lifestyles. You wouldn't expect to be fluent in French after signing up to a month-long online course. Treat this in the same way. Practice, make small incremental steps forward, immerse yourself in the culture and find the right community for you to join because that will really help you on the days where you wobble, especially if you're going vegan. Whatever you do, it's your decision. If you thought you failed, you didn't. If you still want to continue your ethical journey to veganism or gradually switch to a plant-based diet through the flexitarian route, then all power to you. Do not give up and remember, perfection is unattainable and you can only try your best today. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more commentary like this in the future, then click subscribe and let me know in the comments what kind of animal related topics you want me to talk about. Check out my next video on the differences between animal welfare and animal rights, where I dive deeper into the philosophy and ethics of both. I'll see you there. Bye.